I was riding at a pretty sick trail a couple days ago, I think two days ago, and I didn't record any of it because I found some people that kind of guided me through the trail and I had no time to put my GoPro on, so I just followed them around until I, you know, figured it out. And I'm gonna go back there anyway because it was pretty cool. But now I'm back here at South Mountain. I'm here on the secret trail. This is the trail that goes up to the Corona de Loma downhill. This is the end of the downhill. I'm gonna record going up it because I used to, as soon as I get to this section where it starts getting steep like this, I usually just get off my bike and walk. But lately with this, this QT8, you know, people say it's not the greatest climber, but <laughs> I think it climbs just as good as my hardtail, especially if you lock the rear out. But like right now I have it on firm. So it's in the middle position in the rear. And it's doing pretty well. So, yeah, normally I don't record myself going uphill because it's just huffing and puffing and swearing usually. But this time, let's see if I can clear this one again. I'm pretty sure this is what they call the secret trail. Or this is the lower Corona DH or I don't know. I really don't know what half these things are called. I just ride out here. About riding on this stuff is you got to watch your pedal your pedals you know you have to time your pedals so you don't strike it oh, yeah. I know people can go up this thing faster than me but this is me right here and usually like I said I would never even attempt to go uphill I just start getting frustrated and start walking but this time I'll try to clear it for you guys on camera. And also the side I'm gonna go down. I've also cleared that going uphill too, which was amazing. I might record that one day, but that was crazier. Woo. The weather is cooperating today. I'm in the shade, it's like 65 degrees. Oh, I dabbed, I dabbed. I didn't want to pedal strike. It's all right, I just won't get off the bike. Ready? Of course, the first time I record, I dab, right? It's all right. Whew. I only dab because I lost my balance too, not even an obstacle. Whatever. <laughs> oh, tired. This is where people end the Corona de Loma downhill. So here at Desert Classic, there's a lot of sections, you know, you can go more XC if you want. You can do just the Desert Classic, which is 
mainly XC with a little bit of technical mix in between just to test you out a little bit, you know. So it's more of my workout ride for sure. But by no means it's not fun. Like I enjoy this ride. I don't know why. Some people might think oh, it's too XC, but like I said, the the west side of Desert Classic is good enough technical for me to have fun while working out. And plus you can do the helipad, which is pretty technical. I think I'm coming up to the first of the three bitches going west. And I don't think I can clear this one. But, you know, I'll show you guys what it's like. So you're gonna go down this first. And then not clearing is the uphill part what I'm talking about. See, if I could just make it up that section, then I would just clear the rest, I think. All right, now this one, which is a very easy one, I think, but not going up, it's just going down. Uh, see, these look too crazy of a step up for me. I don't have the skill. But yeah, that's the second one, I believe. I just get on here, so you know, everyone that's coming around the corner up there thinks I made it up. Sucky climb right here, but this lip right here coming back launches you. All right, so I don't know if I'm mistaken, but maybe this one last downhill right here, this little drop that goes back down up there, and another uphill is the third one of the three bitches, I think. So I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna go down that today because I'm tired and. This is the way you go up if you want to do the helipad. This is the sketchy part down. And most people like me would just hike this all the way up to the backside of the next mountain, which is the helipad, and climb that one and do this sketchy section back. Or if you want to do a long downhill, you can ride the mountain down that way, but it's more, you know, enduro-y instead of technical. All fun though, and there's even a way to go down this way to get down to that parking lot over there, which is pretty fast, but I'm not going down there because everything is back uphill to get here. And I just want to go back down to that area. As usual, I'll just be recording all the fun parts. So, you know, over here it's gonna be pretty fun. I'll probably record for a little bit. Then I have to climb, get back to where the bus stop section is. Then haul down all that right there. And maybe do the secret trail. Show you guys that again. And then back to the car. So far, only thing to report. Uh, I had to re-grease the headset bearings. I changed the bottom bracket, which I thought was creaking, but it wasn't. So I didn't need to change it, but I did change it already. So I just left the XT bottom bracket on there. And uh, see, I had one of the rear pivot bolts, the one by the closest to the rear tire on the non-drive side, come a little bit loose, but not loose enough to come off. And that's about it, really. Everything else still intact. On, you son of a wrong gear. <laughs> I'd even change gears to that uphill. 
Can't believe I made it up. Good, felt good. <laughs> Stay on the chunky. Stay on the chunky. Oh, oh, and the drop. Yeah. Nice. I forgot about that drop at the end of that chunky. All right, here's one of the three bitches. Probably the second one in if we're going east. climb that's kind of tilted so it's easy easy to pedal strike the left pedal oh, that's pretty fun considering I don't like doing this stuff That was cool right there, fun little section. And that's it for all the fun. Now I just need to go up this, turn left, and go down to the parking lot. All right guys, thanks for joining me as usual. It's always fun. Stay safe out there. Keep the shiny side up. Peace.